Technology is an ever-changing, ever-fluid force of nature, and with the rise of automation and AI, planning ahead and creating systems inevitably becomes much, much easier. In this video, I'll share my digital workflow on how I back up, declutter, and jumpstart my year ahead as well as some tools, apps, and software I use. This video is sponsored by Sprintle, but more on them later. Every year, we collect tons of digital files, photos, videos, projects. Backing these up isn't just about storage, it's about gaining clarity. Whether using cloud servers or physical drives, backups help clear the clutter and create space for what's next. It may seem overwhelming, but the key is compartmentalization. Here's how I tackle it in two steps. Step 1. Intentional reviewing. Set time aside to review your frequently used folders and decide which files to keep, archive, or delete. Yes, it's tedious, but trust me, it's worth it. Use the 3S rule, significance, usefulness, and sentimentality. Significance, keep critical files like contracts and tax documents. Usefulness, archive files not needed daily, such as completed client projects or templates. Sentimentality, for personal files like photos, keep those that truly matter or spark joy. Consider creating an archives folder for completed projects to simplify your decisions. Step two, divide and conquer. I utilize three external SSDs for specific purposes. For my work drive, my one terabyte WD D30 backs up all my work-related files and archive projects. For my phone backup, the Charge Disk Plus SSD stores photos and files from my iPhone. And for music production and travel, my SanDisk Extreme SSD houses them. Each drive is distinct for easy access, helping me save time and find files quickly. If you're looking for a more advanced option, consider a NAS drive. But until then, this method works well for me. Finally, I keep my drives organized in the Orbikey 2-in-1 tech accessory pouch. This year, I'm dedicating more intentional time to transition into a full-time creator. And that starts with planning ahead and generating fresh ideas for all of you. Ideation is a key part of my process, and I turn to Scrintle as my go-to tool for this. Scrintle is like an infinite canvas where I can connect ideas and break down big concepts into small, actionable steps. Plus, the recent addition of their AI assistant has really enhanced the planning and organization process for users like me. If you'd like to learn how Scrintle functions, I've linked a detailed video above for you. I start by organizing my ideas into blocks. Think of them as modular containers that cater to different creative categories. For instance, I might have a block specifically for desk setup content, showcasing tips for optimizing my workspace. Another block could focus on everyday carry items, outlining the essential gadgets I can't live without. This structured approach keeps my content distinct and highly accessible. So the magic begins when I generate ideas using Scrintle AI. I drag my blocks of pre-written topics into the tool and prompt the AI for short-form content ideas tailored to my niche. For example, when I created a block for home office productivity tips, Scrintle AI can generate 10 engaging real ideas from workspace organization to focus techniques. I sift through these suggestions, choosing concepts that align with my vision. If I want to pivot to a new topic, like a workout routine, I can ask Scrintle AI to provide structured ideas around that as well. This way, I continually refresh my content, ensuring it stays relevant and engaging for my audience. Now we arrive at the most crucial aspect, organizing ideas. One of Scrintle's strengths lies in how effortlessly you can visually connect concepts. For instance, when developing a topic about how architecture shapes my creative process, Scrintle's blocks and connectors allow me to arrange generated ideas visually, making it easier to revisit them later. So the reason why I think Scrintle is so handy is because it literally has a lot of tools for us to organize our thoughts and notes, create useful mind maps, and with its AI integration, it can generate ideas that complement ours. And I think this really is a value-adding thing because it's like having a second brain altogether all within one contained system. Scrintle AI is by no means perfect, and what will make it perfect though is you and your refined ideas. It's incredibly helpful for generating concepts to refine your vision. Think of it as a playground for your mind rather than a replacement for your creativity. If you're interested in exploring planning and ideation using Scrintle and its AI capabilities, check out the link in the description below and for a limited time, you can use my code to help you get started with a discount. Thanks again Scrintle for partnering up with me. Lastly, for a successful jumpstart, I'm focusing on building a habit of digital decluttering, a task just as essential as organizing physical spaces. 
Many of us overlook files and apps we forgot existed, along with those bulky cache files taking up space. If you're a Mac user, I found Clean My Mac to be incredibly reliable since I've used it in 2021. For Windows, consider C Cleaner, though I haven't spent much time with it yet. Clean My Mac offers a smart care option that conducts a quick scan of your Mac, identifying system junk, large files, malware threats, and optimization opportunities, all without any manual digging. So let's break down its features. Cleanup Manager helps you remove unnecessary system junk, including cache, files, and trash. Protection scans for malware and privacy threats to keep your Mac safe. Performance optimizes your system by identifying resource hogging apps and managing startup items. Applications can list unused applications and detects leftover files. My Clutter scans and removes unneeded files and duplicates lurking in your system. Running these scans regularly can make a significant difference in maintaining a decluttered digital environment. This year, I'm committed to being more intentional about my file management, and I encourage you to do the same. I've also left a link in the description for a free trial of Clean My Mac. And that wraps up our Jumpstart video for the year. I hope this video gave you ideas on how you can create systems to improve your digital life, as well as your real life. Thanks again Scrintle for sponsoring today's video, and don't forget to head on to their website linked in the description below to get an exclusive discount as you get started. If you have any questions and suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. For behind the scenes and updates, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Threads. If this was a valuable video to you, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!